Is this thing rolling? I'm nothing without my headphones. You guys never do any work around here. Am I the only one that does work around here? Come on, chop chop. We're trying to be the number one YouTube channel. How are we gonna do it if you guys don't get off your asses? Crazy thing is, I'm the only one in this room. What's going on, Nato Nation? My name is Joey Nato, and I am an artist slash music producer. If you wanna hear some of my music, I'll put a link in the description for you. In this video, I'm gonna be reacting to Icon once again. Finally, I know. Thank you to the K-pop reactor gods. Without further ado, Icon, love scenario. Let's get into it. I have a feeling this is gonna be quite enjoyable. Let's do this. Let's talk about the pianos. Got a cowbell. Percussion, damn. You could hear this very faintly. Maybe you need cool headphones like this. <laughs> I don't know. But he's singing. Da, 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 da. He's singing it an octave lower underneath it. It's like. Do, da, 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 da. It's like really low underneath it. And it's giving it some body a little bit. So uh, I just want to know if you hear that. If you don't hear that, this video might not be for you. Because I'm going to be pointing out little details like that. It's nothing nothing personal. But. I like the little subtle choreography here, not too much. Is that a girl in a K-pop video? Is that a girl in a K-pop video? I've never seen a girl in a K-pop video besides the girl groups. I don't even know what to say right now. Wow. Harmonies kind of swaying in the background here. I like that shot, by the way. Crash going in these claps. Crash symbol, I meant. This simplicity. Got some brass. It's like a trumpet section in the back there. This is gonna sound a little weird, but it's almost like trap mixed with very subtle Latin type of vibes here. The trumpets, the cowbell, and then the piano. A lot of piano in Latin music is dun 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 dun. The, the, the like staccato notes being played on a piano and that's a really popular method that they use so I think this is uh this is uh quite intriguing <laughs> it looks so cool <laughs> Not bad vocals here. A lot of spinning videography going on in this video. I almost get like a Pentagon Shine type of vibe here. Oh, and that 808 drops. That was a dope shot. The freeze frame on the... Oh, I guess it's not freeze frame. They just... Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did that just say 578 dollars for that old ass TV? Wait, let, let's go back here really quick. Sorry guys, sorry guys. And it's for sale. They have the nerve to say this TV is on sale for $578. It was 
not it was nine hundred and eighty dollars it's five hundred and seventy eight dollars for this this is like this is like a tv from 1964 it's a ripoff it's not real it's not real it's just a music video and this is probably supposed to take place in a different time period or something i'm sorry music producer overreacts to icon love scenario oh they got a vinyl sound in the background too These simple shots here. <laughs> so distorted woo, with some delay on it. Listen to bounce. This part of the live show must be crazy. Kick, 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 kick. Very nice. Did I hear a little guitar twang there? A little guitar twang? Thought I did. Something I really love to do in um, my perc in a percussion, wow. Something I really love to do when I'm doing music production, particularly when I'm making the instrumental, is have a little vinyl crack in the background to give it kind of a vintage, old school little feel to it, even if it's very subtle and most listeners won't notice it. It just causes like a subconscious kind of effect to the listener. So I was freaking out about the TV. So this was probably supposed to have a old school feel to it. I like the simplicity of it you know so much music nowadays is drowned out with 808s and the 808 is almost like the focal point of a lot of production but this one they like rewarded you with the 808 you waited you waited for something to drop you knew it was gonna come in and then once it came in like it made such an impact It was dope. And I always like, you know, cheesy little simple pianos like that. So that did my heart well to hear that. I love that type of sound. I love that type of vibe. And the melody is so is so memorable. It was uh, basically pianos and trumpets and the trumpets were pretty subtle throughout the whole thing. That's when you know it's a good song. That's when you know it's a strong melody when it doesn't have elements all stacked up on each other to make a good uh, final product. So Icon, sorry. Sorry, it's been a long time. I I I've been busy. You haven't been answering my calls. I don't know what's going on. I try calling every single member. Anyways, yeah, Icon. I I, I don't expect anything less because the only song the only song I've heard from them is "Killing Me," and I thought that was crazy. That drop was crazy. Yo, they got now that I think about it, they got the drop game on Smash. Shout out to Icon, man. This was dope. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, hey, <laughs> you know I, I don't give a. F I don't got much more to say. I don't have a cool outro line yet, so I'll just say I appreciate you guys. Now no, no, no way. Baby, can't you tell that I am not okay? And I don't know how you carry on and go about your day. Damn you cold, but finally now I know.